Hey everybody, Jay here. Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are just joining us, we heat with firewood. Uh, we have an outdoor wood boiler uh, that heats our 3,000 square foot home. But anyways, today I'm going to show you, I'm going to explain to you the correct way to split firewood. Now, again, there's multiple ways to skin a cat, I think as the term goes. This is my take on it. Uh, maybe you can learn something from it. I am not an expert, but I've really... When you heat with an outdoor wood boiler, you go through a decent amount of wood. My first two years, I didn't have a wood splitter. So you figure out quickly how to save energy swinging an ax. So anyways, stick around, let's grab some logs, let's go over to the splitting area and uh, let's get right to it. All right, here we go. We got our log for the splitting jig, so now let's talk. So let's talk for a minute. Um, obviously, if you're working with an ax or a splitting mall, it really doesn't matter. This video is about the mechanics behind it. Too often I see this. I see guys going like this. Raise your hand if you've done that. You may think that this, ah, this He-Man looking thing is the best way to do it, but that is super inefficient. And let me explain why. When you get that ax head behind you, now it's pulling your whole, it's pulling your whole body back. This is an eight pound Woodings Verona ax. If I put that behind my head, now I'm using all this energy just to get it back up. To me, that's inefficient. I see guys do this all the time. They go, they're keeping the ax out in front of you and they're going, they're doing these rid ridiculous, I, I can't even describe it. Uh, that's what I've seen. I'm not calling anybody out specifically. That's just what I've seen. But let me show you some mechanics behind it. Take anything of weight, hold it close to you, hold it far away from you. I guarantee you, you can hold this ax close to your body all day long. Uh, out here, you're gonna get real sore. So how I split firewood, again, keep your hands wide, keep the ax towards you. Again, holding the ax out here is tiring. It's put more pressure on you. Keeping the ax close to your body is more efficient. What I do is, is I basically, I push up. I push up with my left hand and then I slide the ax down and boom, it hits the wood. So it looks like this. So I go up and I go down like that. If you noticed, maybe I can, hopefully you can see this if I switch to the side. When I go up, the ax head never goes behind my head. Now I know what you're probably thinking, oh, what do you know, blah, blah, blah. But again, what, what makes more sense? If you're going like this with the ax head behind you, you're exerting a ton of energy just to bring that ax head back above your head. The ax head should never go behind your head and you should keep it close, close to your body. And again, you just push up, slide your hand down. So let me show you that again. It's here. I, I really can't demo it slow. Maybe I can do it slow more on camera, but you push up, you slide your hand down. Versus this barbarian. I mean, that, that's ridiculous. You're gonna blow your back out after one lock. So let me show you the way I do it again. Again, let me readjust my log. It's here, it's close to my body basically touching my chest, I'm pushing up, then I'm sliding down my hand here. If you got a proper stance too, and you go like this, your maul should hit exactly where you want it to hit. I'm not moving my feet, so again, I push up, it's that simple. N none of this barbaric stuff, none of this whole, I I've seen all types of like Game of Thrones <laughs> style kill shots, you don't need to do that. All right, so I brought you guys over here. I wanted to get, I was over there behind the fence because the wind was blowing, but the winds died down a little bit. But I want you to get a side profile of how to properly split wood. Again, go like this with your hands. Where is that ax gonna hit? If I'm not moving my feet, I know every time I come down, that ax is gonna hit right where I want it. So get your footing first. And then the second thing, like I said, keep that ax towards you, push up, and come down like that. None of this, like I said, none of this barbaric behind the back stuff. It, it, it's ridiculous. It, it's it's not practical. So let me let's move this out a little bit, and I'll show you. Hopefully, I can do some slow mos of it too. All right. So we slid this out a little bit. Let, let's recap. This is just to summarize. Um, again, get your footing. I know my hands at the end of the axe. That's where that axe is going to hit. Um, again, keep the axe towards you. Holding it out here, that's a, that's a lot of work. That's a heavy tool. That's how you get hurt. Keep it close to your chest. Push up with your left hand. Down. 
just like that. None of this. None of this whole, none of this whole wind up crap like that. Keep it close to your chest. Push up with your left hand. Down. Just like that. It's that simple. Um, the closer you keep this towards your body, the more energy you extra, the more energy you save. Again, hold it out here versus hold it in here. Guarantee you, if I'm hiking through the woods, I'm not gonna be hiking through the woods like this. I'm gonna either have the axle over my shoulder or I'm gonna keep it close to my body. So again, I'm not a professional, but this is just what I've learned over the, few, uh, over the last four and a half seasons of splitting with wood. Like I said, we just recently got our log splitter and I still love splitting by hand. So remember the three things, foot position, never, that ax should never go behind your head. Keep it close to your body, try it. Literally, go out and try it. I guarantee you, it will make a difference. Again, none of this whole Game of Thrones, this barbarically wild swing. The less movement, the better. So again, close to your chest here, up, down. Just like that. It's really not that hard. So anyways, um, I just wanted to go over that quick little video. It's not rocket science. Think of the science behind every move you do. Firewood makes you lazy. I said that before. Um, firewood's a lot of work, so any little bit where you can conserve energy, I'm all about it. So, again, I hope this worked for you. Hopefully you didn't skip through the video. It shouldn't be too long, but uh, hope you enjoy. Let me know what you guys think. Hit that thumbs up, and uh, we're going to go hack some more wood. So, appreciate you guys watching, and we'll uh, see you on the next one.